Hey everybody, Scott DiGregorio, Your Mortgage Guy, continuing on with the series Qualified. Great, don't go shopping without learning these 10 tips. And this time I wanna talk about uh, something that's really near and dear to me, man. Please, 95% of the time, whatever the number is, okay, you should not go out and buy a house at the maximum amount you are qualified for. Look, I know after the 2008 collapse that there were um, massive regulatory changes and a tightening of the guidelines, but here's the truth. People can still qualify for way more house than they should, okay? And you gotta understand that um, it, it could just hurt you, right? You never wanna be house poor in a situation. So nine out of 10 times, the right way to do it is to figure out what is the maximum monthly payment you're comfortable for or comfortable with, and then qualify up to that level and not beyond it. Now there's circumstances, right? Maybe I'm doing a loan for a married couple and for whatever reason, I'm only doing the loan in one person's name. So the debt ratio that, you know, they're, they're buying at the, at the max they qualify for, but the max they qualify for doesn't take into account the true household income. Dude, that's that's real. That's real. I just called you dude and I'm sticking with it. I'm not even editing that out. But look, that's real, right? And, and that's, a, that's something that, that happens all the time and it makes sense. But make sure you are not spending too much money. I've said this a million times. Don't try to keep up with the Joneses. The Joneses are broke. I'm Scott T. Gregorio, your mortgage guy. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.